Good evening, it's Sean with Paradise Veggies. Today is Sunday, July 31st. Hopefully my video tonight is gonna help you guys spend the least amount of money when you're hitting the nurseries and picking up your packets of seeds. So I just got through planting out these flats with some butternut squash, some spaghetti squash, um, these are pumpkins, and some cilantro. And you're like, oh, this is really easy, Sean. A packet of seeds is a buck or two bucks. I'll just buy packets of seeds and I could you know, get a whole bunch of varieties and plant tons of plants. Um, well. It doesn't really work like that. First off, um, the skill set necessary for take to take plants and transplant them and fruit them and you know get your tomatoes and your peppers off of is a completely different skill set than putting stuff in flats and starting from seeds and trying to grow plants. They both have long, steep learning curves. You're going to spend lots of money, lots of time. The second thing is, is for instance, with this packet of pumpkins. Each one, each of these seeds or each pumpkin plant has a spacing of 10 feet. So if I don't have that room, I just wasted my time trying to start all these pumpkins and I don't even have enough room. The first time I, the first time I was successful starting seeds was with jalapenos and I got 30 plants from one packet and I was like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, actually, I don't even have enough room for baby, maybe two or three jalapeno plants. So the rest of the 27, I had to die. I couldn't get rid of them. You know, nobody had to really garden like I did. Um, and so, you know, unless I, if if I'm going to buy a packet of seeds, it's going to be something really, really unique. You know, like a chocolate habanero or you know a pineapple tomato. Um, it's not going to be anything I can find. And I'm going to look at a couple different nurseries, and you know, yeah, I'm going to buy my better boys and my early girls, my you know regular jalapenos. You're not going to see me buy a packet of jalapenos and try to start those plants. It's just not worth the time by a long shot. Second, when I'm at the nurseries, you're not going to see me buy a gallon plant or like little quarts. You're going to see me buy the cheapest plants they have, and in the, like the little six packs. You know, it's two bucks for six little plants. Those work good because usually the roots haven't really uh, root bounded and they're not all tied up. Um, I've ordered uh, a couple, I've ordered some seeds from different catalogs. Um, I like wild garden seeds for their lettuce and their different leafy greens. They have a lot of um, really cool hybrids they've made, like a red dino kale and you know just some other really neat stuff. Um, I haven't ordered from these people yet Kitsawana Seed Co. They specialize in Asian. Um, Asian varieties and different Asian leafy greens and vegetables. I um, haven't ordered from them, but I hopefully will this winter when I'm doing my brassicas, you know, my cabbage and my broccolis and stuff like that. Um, Bountiful Garden, I really like if you're really, really trying to get into like sustainability and biointensiveness um, and biointensive gardening, I would order from them. They have some really cool like cover crop mix where you sprinkle it out, you know, it fixes nitrogen um, into the soil and uh, helps you garden out there. Um, they don't have too many varieties, but uh, you know they have a lot of really cool information, different gardening, you know, tools, etc. Now, botanical interest uh, seed catalog, I would say, is going to be for you know the person that's just starting out. They don't have a lot of time to research anything. They have some nice pictures to show you exactly, you know, what is in the catalog um, and some explanations when to plant them. You know, some generic. Uh, instructions and stuff like that but the mecca for you know heirloom and uh, unique varieties of seeds or vegetable plants is going to be the baker creek heirloom seed catalog at rareseeds.com i mean this is like you know this thing's made for your coffee table it's you know it's it's full color it has everything in it um check those out um there's probably some other really good seed companies out there that i don't know of yet if you have any uh post comments send me a message hope you guys have a great week it's going to cool off here pretty soon and i'm going to have a ton of videos about stuff to grow when to grow it so uh see you guys later thanks for watching my videos